Hello everyone, it's Greeny Gamester here with Age of Calamitous. And uh, yeah, this is kind of an update on my build. I've been working on it here. And uh, I love the way this metal glints in the sun. Can you see it? It kind of sparkles. Yeah, this is a really, really cool build set. I like it a lot. Uh, it's not as fancy as the Stormhold, I guess. But uh, I really, really like it. So, um, you've seen all this. We've got all this going. And I was working on building up this. And this is what I came up with. I have the four towers on the end. And um, I did, I added these around the sides. These little build-ups. And I just think they add a little something to it. I, I think they're pretty cool. So, I like those. And uh, I might put another or a couple of them in the back here. Uh, this, I still don't know what I'm going to do with this up here. I think I'm going to put one more stack or maybe not because I don't, I don't know if I want them higher than these towers. Um, so I probably won't, but I'm definitely going to put, you know, like more rooftop on it and so on and maybe a middle tower. I don't know. I've got to think some more about that one. Um, I do need living quarters. I don't have any uh, set up so far. So I should have an upstairs um, for me. Uh, so let's, let's go inside. See what it looks like inside. What I've got so far. Um, I don't like this. The stairs are this close to the door. But for some reason I couldn't put in the foundation blocks where the stairs are. So I'm going to take down the, the crenellated walls along here of course. And then I'm going to shut the game down and start it again. You know take the stairs out. And uh, sometimes when you do that they'll place where they wouldn't before. So we're going we're gonna to try that. So anyway. This is what I've got going on inside. Of course, the minute you walk in, you're going to see the throne right up there. Um, some statues, some wall hangings, etc., etc. It's going to be really fancy. And then, of course, I have the stairs to each um, room. Like this is going to be probably the, you know, the fire um, temple. And then I have this like little secret passage that goes all the way around actually. Um, so I can get into this one which will be air without having to go back out and upstairs and so on. And this one I'll be able to go around like this. Pop into this one. Whoops, I think. And uh, yeah, these are pretty good sized rooms. So I should be able to fit everything I need into them. And this is going to be the arcane room. And then, of course, they go all the way up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make stores with, you know, not stores, but extra floors and maybe an elevator. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I may just leave it as it is. Um, I kind of liked the ceilings in, in uh, the Argosian build. They were so beautiful and fancy. And they would look nice in here uh, if they were this slate. But they're not, so... Uh, I don't know, I probably won't do anything with that. I'll leave it as it is. So inside uh, this courtyard area, so to speak, I'm going to put a lot of very large statues, you know, the biggest ones I can find. A lot of the banners I'm going to hang on the walls. And, and they got some really cool curtains too, great curtains. And, um, you know, do little splashes of color here and there. Uh, to kind of liven it up a little because it uh, needs a little little sparkle. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait to see what I can what I can find to decorate the inside with. And then of course the the dungeon here. Um, I had a bit of a time with the front gate, so I kind of had to change this, modify it a little bit. Um, I don't think I need this one here. I hadn't better do that because next thing you know I'm going to have everything tumble down. But I can still have, you know, prisons in here, jail cells. I'm just not going to be able to run them along the whole wall like I wanted to. <laughs> 
So, yeah. And disappointing. But what happened was, is I could not place the gate um, without putting these foundation blocks in. It wouldn't, it wouldn't place right for me. So I said, oh, all right, we'll do it. Sorry, guys. I, I'm not very good at getting through the doorway here with this flying mode. But anyway, yeah. So, you know, this, these, of course, are brick ceiling tiles. And you can tell the difference between the foundation and those. And like I said, when I tried to place this gate door, it just would not do it on these ceiling tiles. So I had to put those in which messed up my dungeon a little. So uh, that's as far as I've gotten. Uh, I can't wait to, to decorate the inside and, and add a little more to it. And then of course the courtyard, um, I'm gonna put trees in here and make it a true courtyard with plantings and uh, things like that. So yeah, it's coming along, it's getting there. The next video I do on it, um, it should be done. I'm going to do a little more decorating on the outsides of the walls here too. So, yeah, it's quite massive. <laughs> I started out being really afraid to make big builds. I didn't think I could, but yeah, it's fun. I, I like it a lot. And it uh, seems to be working out okay. And then, of course, that circle of swords being up there is uh, kind of adds to it I think so yeah well all right if you liked give me that big old like and if you'd like to see more just subscribe yeah especially if you want to follow along on how this build is going to end up um, I'm very pleased that a lot of the trees are still standing around I mean they didn't all disappear some of them did but not all of them so you know that that was pretty pretty good so yeah and then of course on this side we have the towers the warden towers which is great you, you get that from this angle yeah and then then of course we have the wolves there up here carrying on and then oh what's this oh that's a tablet isn't it oh this one is the circle of swords here is where we choose to deal with those who cannot be trusted. Oh. One need not fear betrayal at a meeting in the Circle of Swords, for no sorcery can be used in that ancient ring. It was old before our history began. But who built it, and why? I cannot answer. And who do we meet here? That knowledge is forbidden to even our most trusted human servants. Just beware, Bonded One. Those who live beneath the mountain of fire. Oh, well, alrighty then. Oh, gee, that looks pretty cool from here. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, coming back this far kind of helps me decide, you know, what else I would like to do with it, you know, at this point. I mean, I might go up one more with those towers, um, change the tops of them a little bit and do that. But, uh, yeah, then we've got this lovely little rot branch over here. Yeah. <laughs> he'd, he'd like to get me. <laughs> He's going to get the wolf, though. Oh! Ah, oh, yeah. Ooh, is he... They're bleeding. Yeah. Oh, he did. Look at him. Wiped him right out. All right there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Um, I was going to sign off about uh, three or four minutes ago, I think. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, like I said, if, if you'd like to see more, just subscribe. And um, I hope everyone's well. And uh, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, GG out.